Hi right, guys, it's Wes from Animation Toolkit. Thanks for joining us today on this build guide. It's the Anna Build 1. This is the entry level uh, animation armature, guys, for stop motion animation and for puppet building. So get familiar with the pack, open it up and check all of the parts. Um, you can check them against all of the instructions. That's really important. Just make sure everything's there, guys. And there's two gauges of wire to two. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button for more videos just like this. So I'm just checking out the wire there, guys. We've got a 1.5 millimeter and a one millimeter wire. Uh, we're gonna use both of those to make this wire armature. So after familiarizing yourselves with the instructions, guys, I'm gonna start with the 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire. Clear everything away, grab the 1.5 millimeter wire. That's the thicker one of the two. And that's gonna start, we're gonna start making our backbone. We need two pairs of pliers and you'll notice my pair of pliers, one of them, has had the teeth wrapped in tape and that's so we don't damage the aluminium wire as we are twisting it. So I've taken three strands off the 1.5 millimeter spool. I've clipped it off. I'm just gonna, with my fingers, just push them together and then I'm gonna start the twist. I'm gonna get this twist pretty tight guys so it will slip into the brass bosses of the head, the shoulders and the hips. So three twists is quite strong for a backbone, that's what you want. And all I'm going to do here, guys, is just use these plies uh, to just tweak those ends to make sure that they go into the holes of the brass bosses, as you can see. That one fits quite nicely. You'll also notice, guys, that on the ends of those pliers, I've also wrapped them in some tape, not, ju not just not to damage the aluminium wire too much. So I'm going to Jump in there with the first hex screw, it's an M3 hex screw and that will just wind into place just like this. I'm not going super tight with this guys, I'm just going to bite onto that aluminium wire just like so. It can get a little bit sticky sometimes but just bear with it. And just for good measure I'm going to take another screw and pop one into the other side. Thus clamping the aluminium wire into place. That's going to make the head boss. You can use that head boss guys to sculpt onto, get some clay onto there if you need to, sculpt away. We'll cover that in, in our next video, but for now, we're just gonna concentrate on the rest of the armature. So we're gonna go for the hips. We're gonna place the hips and the shoulders onto the spine of the armature that we've just created. I'm just winding that very simply into position. You'll find that you might just need to tighten some of those uh, wire um, screws, uh, I say screws, some of, some of that wire turning up. So just tweaking away there guys, just making sure that that wire will run all the way through our brass boss for the shoulders. Again, because I've wrapped the t uh, the the pliers in tape. I've used some electrician's tape. It's not damaging the wire too much. So you're okay to keep stepping back in there and just tweaking away without damaging the wire too much. You guys can take your time. You might want to just make sure that wire is a little bit tighter when you initially twist it. And then Jump back in with the grub screws, the M3 grub screws, and tighten into position just like this. I'm going to put one in each side. Not going to go too tight, guys. As I say, I don't want to chop that wire in half. That would be disastrous. Now for the hips. So we made all the adjustments on the wire. We made sure it all fits. Now, just going to screw those hips into place. And as I have done before, I'm just going to put the M3 grub screw either side of the hip to clamp it nicely into place without chopping that wire in half. Now for the legs. So I've taken, I'm measuring against the instructions because these are to scale. So as you'll see, that's two strands. And just for good measure, guys, I've made it three strands again. Now, I haven't had a bit of practice. Obviously, clamp it at one end with your pliers. I'm 
just like so and twist away you can get a fairly tight tight twist on this guys uh, I use another pair of pliers if you need to some people prefer to use a drill so you clamp one end into a vise or some pliers and you clamp the loose ends into the chuck of a drill uh, a hand drill obviously and slowly turn that will give you a really tight neat fit, uh, uh, twisting all the way up guys we'll cover that in another YouTube uh, video but for now we're just going for the hand drawn method now I've just clipped off the ends there just to make sure that they're gonna fit nice and tight into the brass hip boss there we go okay so in with the grub screws M3 grub screws again guys just gonna wind them in tighten them up one top and tail and then repeat for the other side fairly simple that one so three strands clamped in one hand and twisted with the other like so you'll notice as I say guys the pliers are both got tape on the end of them just to protect the aluminium wire we don't want to put loads of little inserts and dints and everything and it makes it quite weak now using the instructions I'm just going to bend these round into the appropriate size as you can see and that's it one was longer than the other okay so we've just clipped them to size and now guys it's just a case of fitting the feet so your two feet with each kit a brass boss with a with a, a steel powder coated bottom so the powder coated bottoms with them being steel are magnetic so you can magnetize your puppet to the set base and then take your screw so you'll need a little screwdriver for these guys or if you buy any extra and three grub screws you can use those uh, the little screwdriver isn't provided but you can just get a little electrician's screwdriver and just wind them into the feet just like so and put a screw on either side just to clamp that wire into position again not tightening too much it's important not to tighten too much we don't want to damage that wire into in, in any way that it would break but enough just to clamp it into position and there we have it a puppet that would be able to stand on its feet so next up we're gonna tackle those arms as you'll see the diagram uh, guys we need to change the wire so we're now using a slightly thinner wire this is one millimeter wire the reason why we're using one millimeter wire is that we can twist more st strands and allow for some fingers as well. So in this example, we've got four strands together, which will allow us for let's do five strands together. Yes, five strands. I'm mistaken. Which will allow us for five fingers obviously that's the most important thing so i just left a little bit towards the end there which you can see which i didn't twist purposely didn't twist because they're going to be the fingers so two loops of the five strands two loops and then one on it, one single on its own clip those clip the two loops which is going to make our five fingers it's best to leave these long guys because you can cut them to any length that you need to at this moment we're not too sure how long those fingers are going to be on the puppet so we're just going to leave them quite generic and long we can make that decision at a later date now you can see that the aluminium wire that we've used the strand was long enough for us to bend it into position and create shoulders so again just use the instructions in this case follow the instructions for scale you guys don't need to if you don't want to you might have excuse me you might have a completely different puppet shape or form that you're following and you've made your own kind of diagram I suppose where you might position those joints but just for uh, argument's sake we're making a humanoid today and as I say we're using these instructions uh, just to follow the pattern and create some shoulders so in we pop the 
the shoulder into that shoulder boss of the puppet. Really simple. And then again, just going to screw them in. Tighten them into place with the grub screws. Uh, grub screw either tight side just to clamp it into position. And again, we don't want to go through the wire, guys. The, the objective is not to chop it in half. And then very simply, we're going to repeat the process to create the other side. So it's five strands of wire. Don't forget that. Dead important. And then leave uh, at least 20 mil at the end, which is going to create your fingers. Don't twist the 20 mil. Uh, bend up into shape. Get that ready. And then pop it into the shoulder. We've obviously whizzed this very quickly through. I think this is about 500%, guys. So you take your time. And then don't forget to snip the fingers free at the end. And you can, as I say, you can make them whatever you want. And then lastly, it's just a very quick explanation of the spare parts that you've got in the pack. So these are the your tie downs, guys. So you've got a wing nut or a magnet. So your magnet would magnetize from underneath the set and magnetize your puppet to the base. Ideally, your set base would be made of metal so the puppet's feet would magnetize to the set. Now, if you're using one of our Anabuild stages that are available in on the Animation Toolkit web store, then you'll notice we have steel perforated stock, uh, set tops. And these screws basically fasten through the set top and then they would tighten against the foot underneath the set top. And that would secure your puppet to the set top so you'd know it wasn't moving, particularly if you're doing a uh, long shot. And these are the set of eyes. So we've included a set of eyes, which are eight millimeter and 10 millimeter eyes. Guys, you can paint and decorate those as you wish. So finally, I'm just gonna do some tweaking. We're just gonna neaten everything up, make sure our aluminum wire armature is ready for further puppet building. So this is basically it in a nutshell, guys. You can practice Particularly practice with your strands of wire. You might want to make them thicker. You might want to make them thinner. Obviously, the thicker it is, the harder it is to bend. But don't forget, aluminium wire, guys, is pretty dead. So that means that when you bend it, it usually stays in place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to hit that notification button, guys, if you want to see more videos just like this. And where's for animation toolkit? Thanks for watching, guys. And as they say, that is all, folks.